Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. In this video, we are going to make a HTTP POST request. So inside the book.service.ts, I'm going to write a method. I'm going to call this add book. To this add book, we're going to pass the book object. I'm going to call this book, which is of type book. Inside this, I will create a variable. I'm, gonna, I'm going to use let keyword, let body is equal to, I'm going to convert this into a JSON object. So I'm going to use the stringify method, JSON dot stringify, and I will pass the book object. And I'm going to create a one more variable. I'm going to call this headers. I'm going to create a new header object. To this headers, we're going to pass the content type, which is application slash JSON content type which is application slash json i'm going to create a one more variable which is options i'm going to create an object which is request options to this request options we will pass the headers i'm going to call this headers and I will assign the headers and I'm going to call the HTTP POST method. I will make use of this HTTP service this dot HTTP service dot POST to this POST method we will pass our service endpoint I have already copied in the notepad so I will copy this and I will paste it and I'm going to pass the body and the options and I'm going to return this save this in the book.component.ts I'm going to call the same service before that we need to create a book object up above I'm going to create a book object book is equal to new book and I'm going to create a method I'm going to call this add book this is going to be wide inside this I will make use of this variable which is book service this dot book service dot add book which is our service method to this add book we will pass the book object that we have created up above this dot book and I'm going to call subscribe method subscribe and we will get the response once we subscribe to that method I'm going to call this response and I'm going to print that response in the console console.log I'll print that response and if we get an error response I'm going to print that error response in the console I'm going to call this error using an arrow functions and I'm going to print that error response to the console save this in the service class we have created a method which is add book and we are making a HTTP post request and in the component.ts file we are creating a one more method which is add book and we are calling the service method which is add book by passing the book object in the next video we are going to make use of component.html and we will create a text boxes and we will try to add the data from the html page that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video